The circus is in town. Not my kind of circus. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. Introducing the challenger from parts unknown. Weighing in at 243 pounds, Doink the Clown. I mean, I, I usually love clowns, but Doink the Clown completely changed my opinion. Doink has struck fear into the hearts of the WWE Universe for many, many sleepless nights. I think Doink's pretty twisted. He likes to make kids cry. What kind of clown likes to make kids cry? Well, if it makes you feel any better, Saxton, Doink also enjoys making adults cry and weep at the suffering he is about to inflict on his opponent. Big time match for the Hitman! And introducing the champion, representing the Hart Foundation from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds. He is the WWE Champion, Brett the Hitman Hart. The best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be, signified by the championship around his waist. The challenger not taking their eyes off the championship. And the champ is staring daggers right back at the opposition. say that again. Doink is just as creepy as they come, and physically he never seems to employ the same strategy twice. It's almost like he's more than one person. Fair point, Byron. Doink's opponent is going to have to keep up with a lot of mind games and physical punishment here tonight. We've got Canada's favorite son on the other side. There's no question Hart's an elite strategist, but will the hitman be able to carry out his plan as he devised it? Or is he going to have to make adjustments during the course of the match? From the top... Nobody hold on that. Couch. Close line. What impact. Carefully measured knee drop. The Hitman staying on the attack. Piece by piece, Hitman's chipping away. Oh, man. Inverted backbreaker. The challenger's looking shaken. Stomping down. Uh-oh, pulling the head. Scary pattern starting to form as that upper area takes more damage. Doink dodges. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oh, right to the throat. So does Doink the Clown rely on the psychological aspects of his game or the physical? Well, Doink's an underrated brawler, but what really sets him apart is his talent for just freaking people out. If he utilizes the latter skill, he can use the former to get the W. Is it enough? Stops the ref count before two. An emphatic kick out, and there's still a lot of game left here. 
Pile driver on its way. Oh, snap. Spiked him. The hip. It can't be, can it? What in the world? This is surreal. I think you guys' eyes are playing tricks on you. This is everything's fine. Is that another doink? Heads out of the ring. What's next? And he goes into the ring. Absolutely no respect on his opponent. You gotta love it. Drop him. Ah. Up. Drop suplex. Beautiful swinging neck breaker. As close to three as you could possibly get without the bell ringing. as shocked as everyone else, Cole, his opponent included. From the top, the big cushion! The champ Osmond glazed over. There's two! Ah, oh, the champ avoids a three count. The title still hanging in the balance. Resilience of a champion on display. Will that be the last opportunity? Is there still enough left in these men? We continue to see incredible perseverance from these competitors. The war continues to rage on with no superstar willing to give an inch. Metal rope forearm on point. Cover by the champ. What, what do you say? I mean, Dude, this, this, is, this is amazing. The determination of the challenger keeps this match going. You can just see how much this title means, how much one is willing to go to to claim. The Hitman looking to sink it in. Here it comes. Sub-Judo. I have no idea how he hasn't tapped out yet. All oh, the heart. Heart wins. And Bret Hart remains atop the competition. Here is your winner. And still, the WWE. Unquestionably a big win here tonight. The Hitman excellently executed his opponent on this night.